Hi, this is Rick Hood. I'm a trainer for Terrain Navigator. I wanted to recap a recent webinar we did about parcel data for TNP desktop. This is a relatively new add-on, uh, quite useful and robust. What I like about it is that it works the way a TNP user would expect. It's easy to use. It's a fast turnkey and, and rather complete robust tool. It displays the boundaries, the acreage, uh, and the APN number or the assessor's parcel number on topo scenarios and public and private lands. If it's available, the ownership and address also pop up. It's customizable and you have the option of also customizing geotips. You can convert the parcel to routes, tracks, polygons, or marker if you like. You can send it to the GPS, display it in Google Earth, print it out. Uh, one of the nice features is that you can do a lookup by parcel number, which is the APN number, uh, and often by ownership and address. It syncs nicely with the uh, TNP mobile phone or tablet option, and the cost um, is about 100 bucks a year. Uh, the coverage is about 80 or 90 percent of the U.S. so far, and I think that's growing, and it costs about 100 bucks a year for a subscription, and a subscription needs to be renewed in order to have access to this. Uh, the official word, though, is that terrainnavigator.com. Again, terrainnavigator.com. You'll see the parcels when they're turned on and you have the subscription once you get down to the 1 to 48,000 or so uh, scale. So if you're in the, the traditional uh, opening map, which is the 1 to 24,000 at 1 to 1, you will see the parcels. You can zoom out a little bit to the one to two and you'll still see them. That red box is the same in all three of these. It's just a question of the zoom level. And you can zoom in even farther uh, to the two to one. And of course, go to the aerials to get even a higher level resolution. So what you'll see is an icon that displays the parcel and you'll see the perimeter of the parcel as well. And then below that, the default is the uh, assessor's parcel number or APN. Of course, anything that you do in 2D is visible in 3D, and you can see the parcel number there and the icon for the parcel, as well as the parcel outline. I put this in gold because this is kind of the gold standard. It's easy to use when you're there. Right click, and parcels are on as a layer. Right click. You'll get three nice choices, parcel information, create, and send to GPS. So let's take a look at when you right-click, and then you select the parcel information. You'll get the area, perimeter, holes if you've used that feature, the APN number for sure, and if it exists in the database, owner, and address. So here we have the acreage and the square feet and the perimeter. So if you're laying pipe or fence line, something like that, you have that as well. It's a very easy, quick way to do due diligence uh, to make sure you have an approximate acreage match and perimeter match. Uh, again, written once you have this now, you can go to the county assessor's office if you need more information because you have the APN number and you often have the owner and the address. Very easy, as it is in most of uh, the TNP features, to make a preference change. Remember, a preference change stays that way until you go back and, and set a new preference. However, you can customize individual layers uh, one by one if you, if you so choose. So here what I'm doing is going to File, scrolling down to Preferences, scrolling down to Parcels, and then this is the default for parcels as uh, preference. You can see parcels, APN number, and there's the AP num APN number right there. You can see the line is blue. There it is. And you can see that the um, APN in this case shows up with blue font on a white background. And the font correction, the icon is a medium size. I'll just go to the next screen here. You can see now I've switched over to ownership being shown as the default. Here I've switched over to the address being shown as the default. Here I have the icon still left at medium. Now I've changed the icon here to small. Again, this is file, preferences, parcels. 
and you can see the icon is small. Here I have it as large, there it is as large. I've changed the style of the line and the highlighting as well as the font and the font background. It's very easy to do and again it stays that way until you reset the preferences to something else. Okay, this is a nice feature. Again, it stays this way until you go back and, and change it if you if you so desire. File, preferences, now geotips. Geotips are the hover feature. When you hover over a point, uh, you'll get this. So in this case, we want it for parcels, geotips for parcels, and I've selected area. So now when I hover over the icon for parcels, I will get the acreage. If I set it for perimeter, then when I hover over the icon, I get the perimeter. I could do the same thing for elevation, ownership. I could also have chose none or one of these other options. It's easy to convert this or create from the parcel a track route polygon or marker. So here I've gone right clicked on the icon for the parcel, chosen create, chosen track. Here is the track. Now I go in, on this case I'm using preferences, layer size visible, uncheck parcels, and now the surrounding parcels as well as this parcel are no longer visible and what shows up is the converted parcel to track. Makes for a nice crisp clean display. Same thing here. This is the parcel. This is a route. This is a polygon and you can see in this case I've got the default set for the ownership and there are the icons for each of the parcels and now I've turned off the parcel layer and I just have the track, the route, and the polygon showing. Sending it to the GPS again straightforward in this case I just wanted to get the information as you saw before so you can see the acreage is a little less than 80 and you can see the perimeter is about a mile and a half hook up the GPS to uh, the Terrain Navigator Pro. When I bring it into the GPS, you can see the default name for the track is the APN number. Makes it easy for, for clarity purposes. And you can see that the acreage is the same um, and the distance is the same. Acreage and distance are the same. And again, then when I hit map in my Garmin 60 CSX, there I go, I've got it. This is the two view uh, or two window mode if you will and over here on this side I'm showing TNP and on the right hand side I've just sent each of these to Google Earth and of course we have a lot of flexibility how we shade and, and uh, color and do the perimeter for uh, within the TNP itself and if you want to make those same adjustments or similar adjustments within Google Earth you have to go into Google Earth settings itself but there's the information and you can of course zoom in zoom out you can also have these things linked or not or I should say locked or not locked so they scroll together okay this is um, a cut and paste from the preview window so it's not nearly as high resolution as you would get if you printed it out but here I'm showing from the print window a few layers I'm showing the parcel layer and you can see the parcels I'm also showing the track the route and the polygon here I've turned off the track the route and polygon and just showing the parcels I could have done it the other way around or some some other combination that was useful for me same thing in the aerial view. Track, no track, and so forth. Uh, I can also go to the pages within the print window and say include the layers for parcels. And then, and in this case, I've chosen tracks. And there's the information for this track. Uh, one of the most important features that I like is that you can uh, download the information, go to find, from the pull down window parcels and the first time you do this it'll take some time say yes it took me uh, three four minutes I guess and then I have all that for my state all that data for my state and then I can do a lookup by find parcels by ownership APN or address 
APN will always work. Sometimes ownership is available, sometimes it's not. The same thing for address. Don't try to be too specific is my suggestion uh, when you do a lookup. Uh, typing, I just chose a name at random, Fredrickson. If I type William Fredrickson III, I may not get any hits at all. So be work from the, the, the more general, and I think you'll get the results you want. But anyway, I chose this. That's the parcel I wanted from this list. I know it's a little light here, but I can see that. Yep, I confirm that's what I want. So the fine circle, the red circle, takes me to the, to the area of interest, with the area of interest being in the center. I right-click on that icon, and I get this information here. It corresponds to that. I'm good to go. You can sync this uh, with your... TNP mobile app on your phone or your iPad. Uh, set up a new project and then yes I want to sync the project and then when you open your phone or, or I should say open the projects list within folder within your phone I've called this uh, parcel demo and then I can see under map this is uh, cut and paste from my phone, so the resolution isn't very high. I can see the the, the, the parcel, which is the track that we've converted, because you can't bring in, at this point, parcels directly, so you want to convert them first. And then here is the wrap. And then you have other options. This is, again, like I said, not nearly as crisp as it would be on your own phone or tablet. Now this is the map. This is uh, a gross scale. I've brought it in somewhat. You can see, again, the track and the route. And now I've zoomed in, and that corner is that corner. Very useful. Same thing in an aerial view. Um, one of the nice things, of course, going to terrainnavigator.com gets you information on Terrain Navigator. Scroll down to parcels, and I really recommend you look at the coverage and see the coverage for your state uh, the extent of that coverage and you can always call and contact Terrain Navigator for more detailed information on what is and what isn't covered. But I would say even before you do that, when you're using TNP itself, go to the Help menu and then under Help choose Content and then just select Parcels and you'll have all this information which goes into what I've covered in, in greater depth. Okay, thanks for your time. Uh, feel free to contact me directly at my address below, uh, but again, the official word is at terrainnavigator.com. Thank you.